Hi, I'm Abhinav Krishna Kaiser. I'm an author and a management consultant. Most of us have grown accustomed to Windows and its bugs. We have learned to live with it, its bugs just like the viruses that make us sick from time to time. Specifically talking about Windows updates, not every update does more good than bad. There have been buggy ones that could only be obliterated by future releases. As a consumer, I didn't have a choice of isolating the updates that I wanted. Either I had to take in the entire release or reject it altogether. Now Microsoft has started to allow consumers to pick up and choose the specific update packages in a release. In effect, all updates do get installed on your system. And once a particular update is found to be buggy, the consumer can roll it back. This is especially true for non-security updates. This essentially means that all security releases will either be installed or not installed at all. The option to roll back updates is called as non-issue rollback or simply KIR. During the Ignite conference, Microsoft's principal program manager lead, Namrata Bachwani, went on to accept the flaws in the Windows system and how the new system replaces the old. Here's what she said. As you all know, sometimes when an update is released and applied, something may go wrong. Even as quality has improved over the last five years, we do acknowledge that sometimes things can and do go wrong. In the past, you had two choices, all or nothing. You either take it all, so you install the update, and you get all the great fixes that you want and the problem, which is causing an issue for your customers. Or you take nothing, so you either don't install the update because you've heard that it causes a problem, or you uninstall it, which means the problem goes away, but also you don't get all the other great fixes in that package, which has changes that you want and need. We have been listening to you and working on how to handle such a scenario in a targeted, non-destructive way. And we bring you, drum roll please, Known Issue Rollback. Known Issue Rollback is designed to quickly revert a specific servicing regression caused by a non-security fix in a very, very targeted way. It rolls back the specific piece of code that is causing a problem without forcing users to uninstall the entire cumulative update. And you have control. You can deploy the specific mitigation mechanism through group policy. Right now, known issue rollback has been rolled out for non-security fixes for Windows 10, 20H1, and 20H2. If there's a lot more coming soon. Definitely check out the session where my colleagues Eric and Vatsan will tell you a lot more about this. And before I move on, I really want to quickly give you a reminder that the Windows Release Help dashboard does list any known issues. Uh, we'll talk more about that later, but I wanted to give a quick shout out to that. So how does this KIR actually work? Let's consider the following two common scenarios. Let's say you are a consumer or a small business with no IT admins to run your Windows. KIR for such consumers is managed by Microsoft. Microsoft gets feedback on a regular basis from various users on their releases. The buggy release inputs come through Windows Telemetry. Based on the inputs, Microsoft recalls packages using KIR. Windows machines connected to Windows Update are notified of this change. And once the reboot is done, the buggy update is rolled back and hopefully the previous table build is back in place. The other scenario is where the Windows machines that are managed by IT admins, such as in the case of enterprises. The ability to roll back is in the hands of IT admins. In this case, Microsoft will publish information about the known issues in the documenting bulletin KB under the mitigation section, along with a link to Microsoft's download center where the appropriate group policy will be posted. 
IT admins are expected to deploy the policy to the organization's PCs using tools such as SACM. KIR is a nice feature. It is late in the coming, but we are glad it is in place now. Let us know what you think of KIR and what else Microsoft needs to do to give consumers more power. Thank you.